couple of weeks ago, I was over at a friend's house and one of them showed me a picture of a new bike he just bought. I was immediately impressed by how cool the bike looked. He told me that he bought the bike on Amazon so I quickly opened the Amazon app on my phone and purchased one. Now I wasn't looking for a bike at the time because I already have a bike so you can say it was one of those impulsive buy moments. After the delivery was delayed a couple of days by FedEx, it finally made it to my doorsteps. I was so eager, so I took it to the backyard to assemble it. Unfortunately, it was one of those hot days, so the assembly was not so pleasant. So let's open it up, assemble it, and see what we got. The bike came partially assembled except for the seat, front wheel, pedals, handlebars, tire inflation, and other minor adjustments you might have to make. All the assembly parts and tools were included inside a small box. Inside that box were two sets of plastic pedals, the seat and the seat bar, the tool kit, the quick release clip, the front and rear reflectors, and the trusted instruction manual with a thank you note. I found the assembly manual to be a bit confusing, so I set it aside because I had no intention of using it anyways. I continued to remove some of the protective foam, freeing the front wheel. The front wheel was minimally inflated and the disc brake had this hard protective covering. However, the plastic was hard to remove. It felt like it was stuck in there, and I later found out why. After removing more protective foams and clips, I set the bike upright to begin the assembly process. These are the mud guards that came with the bike. The first thing I did was unscrew the front fork, rotate it 180 degrees, and screw it back up. I unscrewed the handlebar housing and inserted the handlebar, partially screwing it to make the necessary adjustments, and I snug it back up after the adjustment. I had to attach the brake cable to the shifter. I attached the seat to the bar Tighten it up on both sides. Next, insert the bar into the frame, wound it up, and lock it in place. I flipped the bike over to install the wheel, and that's when I realized why the protective disc covering was so hard to remove. Part of it was stuck inside the housing and would not come out so I had to melt it down so I could insert the quick release clip. I removed the other clip, 
put on the wheel, inserted the quick release clip, wound it up, and locked it. Make sure to install the pedals in the correct location. For example, left left, right right. I had to adjust the front brake shifter, so I pulled and locked the brake cable a little bit. Next, I installed the front and rear deflectors. I took the bike to my driveway to inflate the tires according to the specification of 50 PSI. After inflating the tires, I checked to make sure the bike would fit on my rack. Then I took it back to install the front and rear mud guards. The shock absorber is solid, but the housing is plastic. So this is the Pan Am 26 inch with 6 spoke integrated wheels design. 21 speed folding bike with double disc brake. Full suspension with shock absorber. The frame is made of high carbon steel materials. The bike is equipped with a Shimano derailleur and shifters. The bike is labeled with R100 out road on both sides, but I see many similar bikes on Amazon with different label on them. Let's not forget that this is a folding bike. The folding process is easy. Pull out the clip, lift the lock, and voila! After you are done, fold it back up, lock it, and close the clip. I must mention, this bike is heavier than your typical aluminum framing bike. I took it for a quick test ride around the yard. And I have another video where I will be making some modifications and take it out to the elements. As you can see, this is a cool looking bike. But it might not be for everybody. Like I stated before, it was an impulsive buy based on looks. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.